A tornado warning, but no sirens. That actually happened this week in Sedalia. As Andres Gutierrez reports, county leaders are looking for answers on this. Good evening. During Wednesday's storms, there were two severe thunderstorm warnings here in Pettis County, but one tornado warning caught emergency officials here off guard. But we had just this little place right here. In his six years on the job as Pettis County's director of emergency management, nothing could have prepared David Clippard for what happened Wednesday. And this was the first time that we've had this where the sirens were a total failure. Shortly after three o'clock, the National Weather Service announced a tornado warning in part of the county, something that always causes emergency officers to activate their sirens. Through the Sedalia Police Department, that they set the sirens off countywide, and they were not able to do that from their. System. And so they immediately contacted us and said, it, it's not working, it's not going out. So we switched over to our system and attempted to send the, the siren alert out, and it did not go out either. About 400 people in the county were affected, but in Johnson County, Kansas, where half a million people live, they work hard to avoid Wednesday's scenario. We have multiple ways to activate them and can activate them from multiple locations within the county. Over time, we're always working uh, together to make sure that we can identify the best technology to use. Uh, so that we're confident that they're going to be able to operate. Pettis County will now test their tornado sirens next Wednesday. Is to see just what happened and why it's not and why it's not what what happened. And you know, to be honest with you, I don't know if we'll ever completely find out why. Emergency officials also recommend that people have other ways of notification during severe weather, like a weather radio or the Storm Shield app. Reporting in Sedalia, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.